Well, in Pakistan, you know, I had like 120 some people threaten my life. So you have to make a decision. Did God call me to do this? If I'm to be a martyr, I'll be a martyr. Hey everybody, welcome back to Awaken the Wonder. In this edition for part two of our conversation with Dr. Hickey, we're gonna be asking her a series of questions this week. So make sure you go back and listen to yesterday's episode on how Dr. Hickey started in the ministry. But today we're gonna to ask her about difficulties in ministry. So welcome back to the program, Dr. Hickey. Good Thank to have you. you here. Thank you. Um, I would like to ask you about difficulties. Uh, this is a different uh, moment in history than we've ever had with COVID-19. And there's so many complications and travel and churches that are shutting down and online. I mean, there's a lot of problems in the world today. And um, it, it is kind of uncommon, at least for my lifetime. But for you, I would like to ask you, what are some of the biggest difficulties you have faced in pursuing the Lord in ministry? And now, or just, just beginning? Just in general. In yeah. general? Well, I think when I started, you know, women didn't teach or preach or do anything. And so uh, I remember going to Channel 9, a secular channel, and applying. And uh, the board, everybody said no but one man. Wow. And he said, uh, I'm going to say yes because I think you can pay your bill. And that man is not around. I still am. Wow. So keeping your faith in, if God has called you to do it, you know, press in till you see what he has. And I think we have more opportunities now than we've ever had. It's awesome. Yeah, I love it. So how has being a woman in the ministry been a part of your journey as far as defining it? Because there are a lot of men in ministry throughout history, but especially when you started, I mean, it was very uncommon. So what, break that down a little bit more with the difficulties that you encountered as being a woman in the ministry? I didn't let it be a difficulty. Wow. So that's up to you. You can let it be your difficulty. But I took Psalm 512. I'm surrounded with favor like a shield. Mm -hmm. So every place I went, I claimed favor. Now, this will sound arrogant, but every place I went, I had favor. Wow. Nationally, internationally. So Psalm 512 is, a, is the big key. Not your gender. <laughs> it sounds like we all need to be praying for the favor of God. Oh, yeah. So do you feel, feel like favor cancels out the difficulty or it just gives you the grace for it? I think it's both. You know, because I remember when I wanted to go to Hungary one time and they said, uh, we'll pray about it. So they prayed with their board. They had a little church, 700 people. And they said, well, we don't, we don't feel led to have you. So I said, would you pray again? Because I feel led to come. They said, okay, we will. Now that church has 18,000 people. Wow. And they're probably my best friends in Europe. So, I mean, keep knocking. <laughs> That's so good. Now, uh, what is maybe an international uh, difficulty that you've had to face while traveling? Uh, it could be fun or it can be you know, more serious. But what's an international traveling story that you've had in the difficulties? Well, in Pakistan, you know, I had like 120 some people threaten my life. Wow. So that was my first time. So you have to make a decision. Did God call me to do this? If I'm to be a martyr, I'll be a martyr. <laughs> but also my husband, a pastor, very much in favor. If my husband had said no, I wouldn't have done it. Wow. So I think it's very important if you're married to have your marriage together. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. In your journeys, is there anything that you would uh, wish you would have done differently so far in the ministry? I wish that my prayer life had been better at the beginning. You know, uh, I learned to pray the promises. You know, it says, whosoever shall say to this mountain, well, there are a lot of good things on the other side of the mountain, but you have to move it. Wow. And so praying the promises moves the mountain to get what's over there. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, maybe talk us through the promises a little bit. What does that look like for you? Well, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm more than a conqueror. Thanks be unto God who always leads me to triumph in Christ. So I have 153 promises I say every morning with a cup of coffee. I mean, you've got to get serious about this thing 
because we are in a very serious time. If somebody says, I don't have time for something like that, what would you say? I'd say, then don't do it. <laughs> But they're probably not going to see the breakthrough you're finding in your no, ministry. No, no, no. Don't do it. Wow. If you're not willing to sacrifice, don't bother. Wow. That's so good. Yeah, don't do it. Wow. That's amazing. Um, with difficulty, um, what is something that you found in your personal walk with the Lord as you've traveled? I imagine time has become, you've had way less time, generally speaking, as Your uh, ministry opportunities have taken you all around the world, as well as domestically, as well as with TV. How have the, the difficulty translated into your family, and how have you overcome that? Well, my children, you know, I didn't go when my children were little, you know, but as they got older, when Sarah went to ORU, then I really began to travel. And I did what my husband wanted. Mm -hmm. I've had a, my husband's dead, but I had a wonderful husband. Wow. So I think your home needs to be in order yeah. because that's the order of the Bible. Wow, that's so good. Any final thoughts with overcoming difficulties for people? Because there's a lot of people present day dealing with difficulty with COVID and everything that has come with that. You need to watch your health. You need to eat correctly. You need to drink water. You need to exercise. Uh, you need to keep your weight what it should be, because if you're going to get out there, you're going to need to be healthy. Amen. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. I appreciate your wisdom today on this episode. Uh, we're going to be coming back tomorrow for part three of our conversation with Dr. Hickey. Make sure you tune in and go back and listen to part one. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Awaken the Wonder. If you enjoyed today's show and want more ministry like this, please visit kingdomencounters.us where you can find weekly blogs in my latest book, Hunger. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at the tag Evangelist Caleb Wampler. If the Lord leads you to partner with us in the nations in prayer and giving, visit kingdomencounters.us. I'll see you next time.